Technology and Livelihood Education, Agriculture and Fishery Arts for Grade 7. Our topic is Products and Byproducts of Poultry and Livestock Production and Farm Waste Management in Poultry and Livestock Production. The Products and Byproducts of Poultry and Livestock Production The product refers to any tangible output or benefit derived from the care, breeding, and management of animals. The example of products in livestock production are meat like beef, pork, lamb, poultry, milk, for direct consumption or dairy products like cheese, yogurt, butter, eggs from poultry like chickens and ducks, wool, hair, and hide. This is from sheep, goats, alpacas, and cattle for textiles, clothing, leather. The byproducts refers to any secondary or additional product that is generated as a result of the primary activities of animal farming. The animal byproducts or ABP are materials derived from animals which are not intended for human consumption. Example of these are Manure used as fertilizer for crops or in biogas production. And fertilizers. From animal waste, often processed for agricultural use. Products of poultry and livestock production Livestock raising provides a wide array of benefits. While it is true that it provides a source of employment for the community members, it also provides a wide array of goods and services. These goods and services are intended for human consumption. This includes traction, milk, eggs, fibers, wool, leather, feathers, pharmaceuticals. Traction The farm animals such as cattle can serve as draft animals to draw farm implements, agricultural supplies, and products. Another products are the dairy products. Dairy products are derived from livestock that produce milk such as cattle and goats. It can be processed to produce cheese, ice cream, butter, yogurt. Next is the eggs and meat. These are excellent sources of protein and other nutrients. Another product of poultry and livestock are the clothing. Clothing can be made from animal skin and feathers. Cattle skin can be made into leather, goat fur can turn into wool, chicken feathers serve as clothing accessories. And the pharmaceutical products, pharmaceutical products are derived from skin, bones, horn, hooves of slaughtered livestock. Byproducts of Poultry and Livestock Production Animal byproducts, or ABP, are materials derived from animals which are not intended for human consumption. First is the Slaughterhouse waste, slaughterhouse waste, are byproducts derived when livestock are butchered in the slaughterhouse. Slaughtering leaves skin, bones, horn, hooves, blood, fat and offal or the internal organs. Next is the Catering waste, catering waste, are materials used in the entire livestock production. It includes food waste, plastics and packaging of the feeds, glass bottles of medicines, boxes and cardboards. Next is the fallen stock. Fallen stock are farm animals that died due to natural causes, diseases or killed prior to harvest. Then the materials. Materials produced by animals such as manure, eggshells, feathers, wool, and fiber. And lastly, the former foodstuffs, former foodstuffs of animal origin are products that are no longer suitable for human consumption such as milk, eggs, and meat. Animal byproduct, or ABP, provide benefits because some have high nutritional value. Thus, it can be used to develop products such as fertilizer, feed, biofuels, and cosmetics following the waste management system in the following section. The Farm Waste Management The Farm Waste Management Waste management in livestock production is essential for sustainable agriculture and environmental protection. It involves the proper handling, treatment, and disposal of waste, such as manure, bedding, wastewater, and other byproducts. Effective waste management reduces pollution, prevents disease spread, and minimizes the environmental footprint of livestock farming. 
By adopting best practices and innovative technologies, farms can lower environmental impact, cut costs, and create valuable byproducts, enhancing profitability. It also protects public health, preserves soil fertility, and ensures responsible management of natural resources. The basic functions of the waste management systems are 1. Production or generation, 2. Collection, 3. Transfer, 4. Storage, 5. Treatment, and 6. Utilization. The production and waste management refers to the amount and nature of agricultural waste generated. Management of waste considers the quantity of waste generated as it becomes a major concern in dealing with it. The generation of waste should consider the following, the kind of waste, consistency, volume, location, and timing. The production of unnecessary waste should be minimized such as leaking water facilities and drainage. It is also important to have a good record keeping on data of waste generation that could be used for future. The collection. It is referred to as the initial capture and gathering of waste from its source or deposition to a collection point. It should consider the method of collection, location, scheduling, labor requirement, needed equipment and facilities, management, and impact. The transfer. This refers to the transfer and transportation of waste throughout the system. This considers the transport of waste from collection point to the storage facility, treatment facility, and utilization facility. The system plan should involve consistency. It may be liquid, slurry, semi-solid or solid of the waste to be moved, method of transfer, distance, frequency and scheduling, necessary equipment, installation and management cost. Next is the storage. This refers to the temporary containment of the waste before transfer. Thus, a temporary storage facility is needed before it is being scheduled for pickup. This process should consider the storage period, required storage volume, estimated size, location, installation and management cost, impact of the storage. The treatment. This process involves the reduction of impact the waste can bring such as pollution and modification of the physical characteristics of the waste. Pretreatment is an effective method to facilitate more efficient and effective handling of waste. This stage should consider the characteristics of waste, determination of the desired characteristics, selection of the type, estimated size, location, and installation and management cost. Treatment includes solid or liquid separation, anaerobic digestion, thermochemical conversion, and anaerobic and aerobic treatment lagoons. And lastly, the utilization. This process involves reusing or recycling of waste products such as source of energy and source of organic matter through composting. Proper treatment of agricultural waste can be profitable. Land application is the common practice of utilizing the energy and nutrients of the waste. This process should consider selection of field, scheduling, design of the distribution system, selection of necessary equipment, determination of application rates and volumes, value, and installation and management cost. Figure 2 Shows the handling of waste in a dairy farm. The Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000 RA9003 Solid waste management as a discipline associated with the control of generation, storage, collection, transfer and transport, processing, and disposal of solid wastes. The manner by which these activities are conducted shall be in accord with the best principles of public health, economics, engineering, conservation, aesthetics, other environmental considerations, and public attitudes. The Act provides for a comprehensive ecological solid waste management program by creating the necessary institutional mechanism and incentives, appropriating funds, declaring certain acts prohibited and providing penalties. A time to remember.
This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.